So I'm in the heart of Norfolk, Virginia, and it's freezing this morning. You can actually see frost on the boats. That's frost over there, geez. So let's take a look. We're gonna try and get a little more south. There is good news, guys. I'll show you the good news. So 7.06 right now, the sun just came up, and this is where we are today. All right, so we're in Norfolk. This is the downtown part of Norfolk, right here. And I'm in this really cool, like right by the Naval Hospital. I'm assuming back in the day, this was like where all the Navy ships would moor, because there's all these cool loyalist houses here and everything. All right, so we're gonna go down the river. I'm gonna try and do 40 nautical miles today and get to Coin Jock. And get down all the way down and into here, there's a, there's actually a lock here. See that? So we're gonna have to go through into a lock and get down all the way down through this like swampy area and get to this place called Coin Jock. Okay, let's take a look at the, the wind patterns and weather today. And I'm not too concerned about the wind. I mean, let's just have a quick look at it. So, downwind, that's pretty good. Let's check out if there's gonna be any rain. Nope. And the temperature. So later on today, it'll be six degrees, but right now, as it stands, see, we're right on the edge of this, this vortex right here. See that? So all we gotta do is get down here. Like, this is like, we've came all the way from up here. We just gotta, you know what I mean? Like, we just gotta get into the warm parts. Like, yeah. and then maybe by next week, we'll be down and in here, Charleston. Look at this. It's 11 degrees in the morning there. So, Let's see if we can get to Coin Jock. I'm gonna put a bunch of sailing gear on and uh, all full of water. I managed to get some butter and some more beer last night. Butter and beer. <laughs> and uh, let's let's do this. Let's let's uh, see if we can s use the sails to power the boat down this river. I know there's a bunch of bridges we gotta go under. A big swamp. We'll get the coin jock tonight and settle in. That's 42 nautical miles. So we can probably do that by 5.30. So that's eight and a half hours of, of hard work. So I'm gonna top up the diesel tank right now with, with the jugs and uh, put the enclosure down so that we're not freezing our, our nads off and try and get south to summer warm. Guys, let's do this. Mile marker number one of the ICW is just south of Norfolk, Virginia. The ICW, or Intercoastal Waterway, is a canal dug connecting lakes, rivers, and sounds that goes all the way down to Florida and into the Gulf of Mexico. This part of the ICW is essentially an 80-foot wide section, so staying in the channel is key. There are numerous bridges with a clearance of 60 feet, so be prepared to stop and wait for the bridge to open. There are a number of small towns and marinas along the way where you can stop and refuel and reprovision and explore this cool part of America. Dogged moon just passed me. I think they pulled over for fuel earlier and they've been slowly catching up. Look at that beautiful yacht. Oh, something special. 
that's a real like ocean going million dollar yacht you gotta love catamarans they can go real quick right so <clears throat> he's got two engines i got one that's why he's moving real quick all right so we're 12 nautical miles away from coin jock i think i'm gonna pull over slightly before coin jock and drop the hook somewhere that's out of the way just in case a big big old ship barrels through here and doesn't see me uh and that that's it i mean you know I, I, my lungs hurt because of the diesel fumes i, I gotta do something about this like I, I think i'm gonna start wearing a mask or something because you know i can feel it like just ugh, it's so gross um not not a good thing so got an hour and a half of light left and that's it so i'm just gonna go until this until it's dark drop the hook and uh have an anchor beer <laughs> And an anchor rum. It's gonna be great. All right. So there it was, headed into Coin Jock. And this is a pretty small area. Like I said, 80 feet wide here. So there wasn't really anywhere I could anchor. And I realized that night was approaching quickly. And luckily I had a huge tugboat behind me because I didn't even have my, uh, I pulled out my, uh, my spotlight and it didn't work and I was basically blind and looking right at the GPS track but luckily a tugboat pulled up behind me and he had a huge spotlight and it illuminated my way and I made it into coin jock and tied up for the night and got some well deserved rest alright guys so coin jock marina right there the famous coin jock marina i just settled up with them and uh got up late today i had a problem with my debit card it wasn't working for some reason so i had to go into town and get cash so it's already 10 o'clock so we've wasted the day here uh so i'm only gonna go as far as buck island that's the next anchorage up this river here and then tomorrow we're gonna cross abermarl sound it's a bit rainy out today and kind of gross anyway so Let's uh, put them up sails and, and uh, move on to Buck Island. Let's do this. to think that red sky in morning sailor's warning actually works like it's a normal sunset so look at that this is good news because uh this is paid off 
waiting has definitely paid off here because yesterday was a horrible day. I mean, it was brutal out there. Absolutely brutal. Last night was scary, I'll tell you, because it was like consistent high winds and waves and, oh man. Ah, so let's get across Abramarl Sound today and uh, get down to, get down to the ocean. <laughs> let's get out of this swamp. All right guys, let's get back on the road. Lots of other boats today. Let's head across Abermarl Sound. Let's do this. Well, it's one of these days you dream. Dream about days like this. Beautiful. Holy, look at that. So I don't really need the engine, but I'm charging the batteries a little bit, and then I'll switch her off. Got to make sure to stay in the channel here. It gets really shallow on both sides here. There's just a narrow strip of, of uh, dredged channel here to get across Abermarl. So we're still in the North Channel River, North River. Uh, Abermarl Sound is out that way, so we still got to get out there and over the horizon. Oh, yeah, I better get back to the helm here. Look at this. Everything's perfect. Oh, hiking over. Well, we're definitely in the intercoastal. Look at all the cruisers. All the people heading south to warmer waters, just like me. Kicking up a bit of a wave there. These, these guys must spend a lot in diesel. I just heard them talking over the radio with that North Carolina accent. Go down. The diesel prices are. I don't want to make fun of them, but it's 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 really cool accent actually wow what a beautiful day this is what I dreamed about just these conditions enough wind to get me going without the engine on but it's calm enough where you're not you know stressed out right through those two channel markers right there is Abermarl and uh, we're gonna cross it at one point we won't see land it's a pretty big Place. It's about 16 nautical miles to the Alligator River. Once we're in the river, we're gonna head south and go through another ditch into Pungo and uh, see how far we can get. I think I'm gonna anchor just before the ditch for the night. That'll be 42 nautical miles today. And uh, we'll get some quick sleep and get up first light and, and try and make it into Bellhaven, maybe further. So now that we're out on the sound, the uh, conditions are pretty crazy. This is why I didn't go yesterday. Uh, look at this. I mean, I hiked over doing five and a half to six knots. And the waves are like on the Lake Ontario. They're really short period, so I'm just smashing through them. Yeah. I'm gonna reduce sail a little bit. I may even... Uh, Maybe a little, take a bit out of the main, go to reef position two. I don't know, I might even take the Genoa right down because, uh, let's pull it right in because it's, this is, I mean, let's see what happens. If winds increase, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, start reefing because this is just crazy. And you gotta stay in the channel, right? So when, the, when a big gust of wind comes at you, the boat goes right over, you can't control it. And I gotta stay within the, the channel. So, oh my God. All right, so I'm gonna concentrate here. We're gonna get this right. It's just, it's just a matter of getting the sails in the right positions. And uh, these waves will decrease as we go out further because it gets a little deeper. Uh, I think that's what's happening. guys so whoa oh yeah well this is what it's like out here when it's <laughs> when it's crazy I'm certainly glad I did not do this 
passage uh, last night or yesterday because it was just nuts yesterday. So, I mean, the waves are pretty big out here. They're just really close together, so you gotta gotta smash through them. If I had the motor running, I'd only be doing, be doing two knots just because the the boat's just good, you know, smashing through these waves. So. I only have 9.5 nautical miles to go until we're back into the river, Alligator River. So, two more hours of this and we'll be back in calm conditions. Whoa, look at this one. Whoa. Whoa. Woo! I mean, it's good fun. Damn it, we're down to two knots. Just the waves are so big, right? So I made it into uh, that, uh, just entering the Alligator River here. There's a catamaran in front of me, and uh, holy, that was crazy, man! It's a bunch of water on the on the saloon floor. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to look into it. I think the, I overwhelmed the villages there because there was so many waves coming in here. Like, I, I'm soaked. Like, just nuts. Anyway, I'm gonna get in, uh, I'm gonna get into some of the, the river here and, and relax. I'm starving and I'm soaked and cold and uh, glad that's over with, you know. I knew it was gonna be a tough one. Everyone said it'll be a tough one. And it's over now, so we can move on. Oh, All right, let's get in. Uh, let's get into the Alligator River and 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 relax. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. We made it into Alligator River. And we're gonna head to Bellhaven, North Carolina. Thank you for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Make a comment down below, even if it says anything. Hey Michael, hey Captain Michael, whatever you liked about the video, make a comment down below. Make sure you push the like button. Try and help me out. I'm just a guy out here uh, trying to live his life and, and make uh, sailing videos for you guys. Hope you appreciate it. And remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.